Hello friends, welcome back. I am Vivekananda. This particular business book, Zero to One, is regarded as one of the best business books to be read. And in today's video, uh, let's discuss about this particular book. This book was written by Mr. Peter Thiel, the founder of uh, this particular billion dollar company called as PayPal and he is also owner of another and many other successful companies and he is also an investor as well. So Peter Thiel, he goes to many institutions, educational institutions, colleges and gives speech about entrepreneurship, business and so on. But while doing once, but while he was giving speech once in Stanford, uh, one of his students uh, took extensive notes about whatever he spoke in the class. And when he finally showed those notes to Peter Thiel, he was very much impressed. And uh, both of them sat together, refined it, and then finally published it as a book called as Zero to One. So, what does he actually discuss in this particular book? He touches a lot of wide variety of topics, but the primary focus is about how to be successful in business and stay ahead of competition. So, he gives us various different ways. So, let's start, let's discuss a few ways. The first thing is build a business from zero to one and not from one to n. What does it mean? by this for example he's saying that you cannot build another Facebook you cannot build another Microsoft you cannot build another Google because these companies were pioneers in those industries and they were the first to come inside that particular industry build a product where the world uses so if we are going to build another social networking site like Facebook we will be just going from 1 to n because there will be not more players but whereas Facebook being in the first player they are for going Going from 0 to 1 and they are always staying ahead of competition so this is the first step he suggests go from 0 to 1 in your business and the second step he gives here is he has this habit of going to many restaurants near his office and having food during lunch and he finds a lot of Mediterranean restaurants, Mexican restaurants, Indian restaurants, North Indian, South Indian and a lot of restaurants and when he goes and speaks to these restaurant owners, Indian restaurant owners, he asks how much is your, how is your company, how is your hotel very much valuable, he gets answers like we are following our own traditional recipes which our grandmothers taught us and and that is the reason our hotels are very much valuable but when he goes back and sits in his office whether these hotels are valuable or PayPal is more valuable he feels that PayPal is more valuable because PayPal is able to service more customers and why is PayPal able to service more customers he uses customers the entire world can use his product which is a digital payment system electronic financial transaction payment system and why the entire world can use his product the simple reason is he is leveraging technology so the second thing he is saying is if you really want to stay out of the uh, competition better use technology more this is second uh, suggestion and uh, what is the third one he compares the airline industry with the company google he says that uh, American US industry airlines industry is worth 178 billion dollars but end of the day the value of uh, the value they take home for selling every one ticket is just 37 cents but compare a company like Google which their total value is 51 billion dollar and out of that 21 percentage share they take it as their own revenue they take it as profits so who is more valuable Google is more valuable more successful over here because Google is in an industry only they are more dominant they are in the search industry where only there are very few players and they are giving some so much of value to their customers they are so so valuable to their customers in that case they will also obviously be a very valuable company so what is the fourth one so the fourth reason he says that if you really want to be a very successful in a business better become a monopoly yeah you heard it right he says to monopolize the industry which you are in and uh, he and is a monopoly not wrong he says it is not wrong provided you give a lot of value to the customers for example uh, ibm in the 1960s dominated in the hardware in the 1980s microsoft dominated but how why were they dominant why were they so successful the reason the attributes is very simple it is all about customer service providing maximum value to the customer Customer and solving the customer's problem the moment they are not doing that the moment they are ceasing to do this 
they don't become a valuable company they don't become a monopoly or some other company will work if they come and give a better value to their customers they end up becoming monopoly so monopoly he says that is good if you provide maximum value to your customers and the next one he gives his own personal example a very interesting example uh, that he gives his own uh, happenings in his life which is he was a law graduate he studied in stanford law school but after graduating from law what he did was he took up the clerk uh, clerkship exams but then uh, he did not get selected and he was uh, devastated but what happened later was uh, he, uh, he built uh, this paper this uh, company became a very very successful company company a decade later when he met his old friend he was expecting his old friends to ask him like uh, how are you how are you doing and all but the first sentence the first thing the old friend uh, told uh, uh, peter thiel was uh, so you are happy that you did not clear that particular clerkship uh, exams or you do not get that clerkship post so when he introspected he found that it is something better which had happened to him in his life because if at all he would have got that particular job he would have ended up as one among the so many people over there yeah they are also successful but the kind of success he has achieved now he feels that is better for his own life the point is trying to say here is don't follow the same path as everybody does and you are not going to be tremendously successful in business is the first point and finally one more thing at one point of time there were so many online pet stores in america called as pet.com petopia.com and so on what these guys were doing were they were trying to compete with each other and uh, end of the day what had happened was everybody got disappeared because what peter thiel says is when you first of all get into competition offer steep discount prices and fight among your competitors first think whether is the competition worth to fight before going into war or just think whether it is better it is worth going inside the war is trying to say so that pet industry was actually a bubble and where everybody were competing so much against each other that end of the day everybody got vanished this is point of view and one last thing before we conclude one more thing to stay ahead of competition or to win competition is better collaborate and what do you mean by collaborate over here peter thiel so his collaboration he was running this company called as confinity.com whereas his competitor was elon musk he was running x.com so both of them what they did was they were fighting against each other it was a brutal fight but end of the day they realized that a tech bubble is coming up and if you are going to fight like this both of us will go vanished both of us are going to die so what they did was they merged they collaborated both their companies Companies. of course they had a lot of differences of opinion even after that merger but one thing he says is it helped them stay ahead of the competition it at least helped them but one thing which helped in this merger was they were able to stay alive during the bubble and after that yes they parted ways but still collaboration at times sometimes during business is actually very very useful is what he says no other go and apart from this uh, peter thiel touches a lot of topics on science economics and various different issues discuss various different issues uh, the point is uh, this objective of writing is this book is to make people think and i very much feel that he has achieved that particular objective of making people think and that is this book 0 to 1 please share your thoughts in the comment section thanks for watching this video have a good day